Ali Najad. Hey. Hey, Ali Najad. Um, you've seen a few uh, Trident Poker players in your time, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, out in London was when I got to meet the most uh, when we covered that Triton Million. Well, they're, um, they're looking for a new James Bond. Daniel Craig is all washed up. Who do you think would make a good James Bond from the Triton crew? I'm going to say Jason Kuhn, but Jason Kuhn, for what it's worth, could also be a great Jason Bourne because he's got that physique. He's kind of a little bit more on the buff side than like the typical spelt James Bond, but I feel like he's a dual threat. But as we all know, James Bond can't be Bond unless it's a villain. And I feel like there are far more candidates that I can think of as villains off the top of my head from the Triton series than I can Bond. For example, Aaron Zhang, if we just threw a fistful of diamonds in his face, like uh, whichever that was, Die Another Day, or where they were on the ice with the car, I think he almost looks dead on the part. And then you have to give a nod to Mikita Badziakuski. Just the whole, I mean, between the track suits, the Eastern European Russian background, and just his stone cold demeanor. Mikita's a guy that, that could definitely play a foil for, uh, for Kuhn Bond in the, the Triton Bond series. Lex Valdus, I don't think there's anybody who has watched more Triton coverage than your dear self. So with that in mind, and Daniel Craig's contracts up, who do you think is best equipped on the Triton tour to fit into the James Bond role? I mean, I think this answer is going to be kind of obvious, and I think a lot of people are going to say this, uh, but I'm going to have to go with Jason Kuhn, I think. He's physically very strong, and he's good at strategy. I could see him. I could see him infiltrating somewhere and being a spy. Also, uh, you know, he's, he's had the history with some fights and stuff, so I, I, we know he can tough it out. On the flip side of that, and you might have to give this some thought. Who do you think would make a real good James Bond baddie? A really good bad guy for James Bond would be, um, I think, Mikita Bajkowski would be one because he has that like cheerful, but very serious, and he can have like the cold face when he's playing a hand. So I think that Richard Young would be amazing as well. He doesn't give a shit. He's just walking around in the most comfortable clothes. He can be very serious. He can be super nice. So he's like very engaging. And you know, he, he can really pull you in into like his, his attention and stuff like that. But there could be, there could be a secret uh, Bond villain lurking in there uh, with a master plan. Uh, Randy Liu. Daniel Gray, uh, Craig is uh, leaving his role as James Bond. So I thought that, you know, there's a few contenders on the Triton Tour. Who do you think would be a, a great James Bond from a Triton Tour, Randy? I would pick Stephen Chidwick because he's already British and he was one of the best dressed at the Triton Million. Already knows how to wear a suit. Oh, and he's got that stare as well, right? Yeah, that killer stare. He's like, don't mess with me. And who do you think would make a really good bad guy? Oh, the best bad guy would be Mr. Liang. Uh, he doesn't say much, he's this Asian boss, he's got this really mean demeanor, right? And then, remember when he beat JRB with that 5-3 suit? He didn't say anything, he just kept showing me those cards. Jamie Staples, how's it going? I'm doing great, how are you doing, Lee? I'm not doing too bad, not doing too bad. I reckon you watch a lot of uh, live uh, tournaments on uh, TV and YouTube and that, is that right? I love it, yeah. So when it comes to the Triton Poker Tour, who do you think would make a the best James Bond now that Daniel Craig's uh, contract is up. Well, there was a guy that came to mind when you when you uh, let me know about this James Bond thing that you're asking people. And I can't be the only person that has brought this up. It's gotta be Patrick Antonius. I mean, he's this tall, uh, built, strong figure, right? When you look at it, like his face cuts light. It's just like, he's really got the physique. I know he's not an English man, right? Like, like he's Finnish, but he only says as many words as is necessary. And I feel like that's a James Bond trait. And what about a bad guy? Do you ever see any good bad guys on Triton still? I mean, I, I kind of want to go Tony G. I don't know how much Tony G plays the Triton tour. <laughs> is Because like Tony G is, he's a very friendly guy on the face of it. I've never met him before. But then you know he's got the history of uh, on your bike. You know, he's got the history of, of goading Phil Helmuth in the spots to, uh, you know, to cause a, a bit of an uproar. So I feel like he's a silent villain. Tony G, he can get to someone when he wants to. I can definitely see Tony G with a white cat in his in his lap playing online poker for sure. <laughs> well, he wouldn't have a white cat. He'd have a, Tony G would have a, like a white snow leopard in his lap while he was playing online poker. Yep, it All makes right. sense. I think that's it. That's the cast.